Okay, this is a workaround to help you take your information from Aries and put it into a Google spreadsheet so that you can um, use the data for whatever you want. Uh, so you need a couple of things. Of course, you need access to your Aries account. Um, you need two spreadsheets. One I titled my 2013-14 rosters. One I titled roster drafts. And then you actually need a Google Doc also that I called a roster workaround. Um, it's not the prettiest, but it, this is effective and works really well. So I go ahead and I log into Aries and we can see my internet's being a little finicky today. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and once I get into Aries, I go into student info, and then here is my period two roster. So I highlight all my period two information. Okay, and then I'm a PC user, so I use control C to copy the information. Okay. So then I want to take it to my roster drafts and just paste that information there. And so it's really nice because it really does just copy and paste. But the problem with this is, is I don't necessarily want the first name and last name together and I don't want all their middle names. I don't care. So what I do is I paste this in here and then there's some nice Excel commands that will help you split that information up. So what I do is I want to insert some empty columns between the name and the ID number. So if you click on C right there at the top, my cat is saying hi, you can then again right click or two finger, two finger touch on a Chromebook and insert a column to the left. And you actually want to insert a couple of columns because what's going to happen is it's going to take the first name and the last name and every single middle name and put each part into a different column with the command that I'm using. So what you do here is it's called a split command. So equals is what we use for formulas, split, and then it's giving you some information about it. So um, I kind of find these hard to read at times and so I just look them up online. So parentheses and then you want to tell it what cell you want it to split. I want it to split this information up. So I click on the cell and then I use a col comma. Then I have to tell it what to split. So we quote what needs to be split. So I put quotation marks and then a comma because I don't want that comma from um, their last name. And then a space. So anytime there's a space it'll split it up and then close the quotation marks and close the parentheses. And once I hit enter, you can see that Oscar now has his last name in one column, his first name in another column, and his middle name in a third column. Okay, so the quick way to go about repeating this information is not typing the formula again and again, but using a quick spreadsheet command. So I want this formula repeated in every single cell. So instead of doing copy, paste, copy, paste, which would just have it repeating the same cell, I want to use what's called a fill command. And you can fill down and up and left and right. We want to fill down. So I'm going to click on the formula, the cell that I want to fill down, and drag it all the way down. And then it's Control D, or if you're a Mac user, I guess it's Option D. And that's going to fill the formula all the way down the column. And you can see there it's split up everybody's names. Okay. Now again, this isn't something really clean at this point. And I tried just copying the first name and last name and putting it in my roster my master roster page, but when I paste it like this, this is what I got, and that's no good. So I want to undo that, and it's because it's looking for the formulas. So you got to do a workaround. So I, again, I highlight the information, I copy it, which is control C, or again, you can use your edit commands here. Go over to your roster workaround Word doc, and then paste. and then you paste and it's back. Okay, so here I've got this information and 
So now I want to copy that information and put it into a spreadsheet so I can use it whenever I want. And let's see, in my spreadsheet I want last name, first name, um, let's see, ID number, what is it, grade, sex, and then period. Okay. So I highlighted the information I want, control C for copy, I go to my roster, control V for paste, or I assume option V, and there's that information. You'll notice there in row two, it gives me an extra space. I don't know, I don't care, it's really easy to clean up and fix. Now I do it with first names, highlight, whoops, let's try that again, highlight, copy, Control C, and then I can paste it there in the column that I want. Oops, except for I did it one down, so I will repaste. There we go, and get rid of the second Leah down at the bottom. So, here to get rid of this spare row, I can just highlight the row, right click or two finger tap on a Chromebook, delete row. If I go back over to my roster, Okay, there's my other information that I wanted. I can highlight it, control C for copy, and then paste it into my um, master roster. Now this is period two, and I want to fill in period two, but I don't want to type in two over and over again. So I just put in the two once, highlight every place I want a two in that column, and then do control D to fill down the twos all the way. And then I can do whatever little formatting tricks that I like. And there's my period two roster. Okay, So let's do it again for period four. So I want to insert a new sheet. And down here I'm going to rename it period four. Okay, And I want to copy my headings and bring them over here. And in fact, at that point, I can, instead of inserting a new sheet, if I go down here to period four, I can duplicate my sheet when my internet's working fast. Okay, so duplicate my sheet. There we go. And you can see I made multiple copies because I was impatient. And here's my copy of period four, and I can click on here, rename my sheet, period six, rename my sheet, click on this little down arrow, rename my sheet, period seven. And so now I have these for each of the periods. So let's run through that one more time really quick. Here on my draft page, I can delete the information because I don't need it anymore. Same thing on my roster workaround. I can do a control A for uh, select all and then delete, get rid of all that information. I'm going to go back to Aries, pick up period four, highlight all the information, copy it with control C, go to my draft page, paste it in, insert columns, Okay, so insert. I'd say about four columns should do it. Some of our kids have a lot of names. Okay, and then it's the split command. So equals split, the cell you want to split, comma, then what you're going to split in quotation marks, comma, space, quotation marks, close the parentheses, and then just hit enter. And if that looks good, then you drag it down, do control D, that should split everybody, okay, I've got all my extra middle names there, do my little workaround, highlight the two columns I want of last name and first name, copy them, go to my doc, paste them, pick them up one at a time, Okay, 
and paste them in period four, since that's the ones I'm doing. Okay, go back to my workaround. Okay, and copy and paste it. Get my other information. Copy, paste that right there. Oops, right here. I can get rid of my extra row, highlight the row, delete the row, put in period four, control D to fill down. Okay, center everything, and I'm good to go. Now, I just noticed something right here, this one, and I believe that is the wrong name. So, if I take a look here, yep, right there, you can see Caitlin Rose DeFalco. Okay, it split her up because, and then in 31, Anthony James Van Alls, because there was a space, it split them. So it's not 100% perfect, you've just got to watch those, but those are real easy to fix just by typing those in and fixing them. If I only have to type in one or two names um, per period, I am a happy camper. So, I hope this helped you. Let me know if you know of an easier way, and good luck.